Assassin's Creed Shadows, a game currently at the center of significant controversy, has had new gameplay footage and trailers released by Ubisoft. As usual, Ubisoft includes the familiar message that their game is inspired by historical events. This raises an important question. Just how historically accurate will Assassin's Creed Shadows be? This video is not sponsored by Ubisoft, so please put down the pitchforks. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and we'll discuss this today. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. There is no honor in praying on the weak. Together, we will bring justice back to the people. Assassin's Creed Shadows is set in the 16th century during the tumultuous end of the Sengoku period in feudal Japan. This game follows a structure similar to Assassin's Creed Syndicate, with players taking on the roles of two characters, Yasuke and Naoe. Yasuke is depicted as a samurai with lightning-fast attacks and exceptional defensive skills. Naoe, in contrast, embodies the qualities of an assassin, utilizing her sharp intellect and and stealth abilities as a shinobi. In feudal Japan, two distinct type of warriors emerged, samurai, the noble class who governed in the name of the emperor, and ninjas, often from lower classes, who specialized in espionage and assassination. However, the line between these roles was sometimes blurred. For instance, Hattori Hanzo was Tokugawa's most loyal samurai, but was also a ninja. But what does this historical context have to do with our protagonists. Naoi may not be a real historical figure, but in the game, she is depicted as the daughter of Fujibayashi Nagato, a renowned ninja leader of the Ika clan, one of the largest shinobi clans. Due to their secretive nature, the deeds of shinobi are less prominent in historical records compared to those of samurai, as they engaged in combat only when absolutely necessary. In the trailer, Naoi speaks about her land and her clan's dedication to the art of subterfuge, which aligns with her dark blue robes designed to blend into the night. We see her perform impressive parkour moves and unique takedowns, such as underwater maneuvers, assassinations through tatami room doors, and silencing bystanders. She uses shurikens and throwing knives to distract and harm enemies, making long-range assassinations viable. Naoi can also hide in ceilings and perform air assassinations, allowing for a smooth transition between combat and stealth. In her attempt to infiltrate Fukuchiyama Castle, reconstructed by Akechi Mitsuhide, Naoi crawls through grass and extinguishes lamps to diminish visibility. Who did that? Fujibayashi's descendants have authored notable works on ninja training from the Iga and Koga regions after receiving support from his followers in battles against Oda Nobunaga. Oda was prompted to invade Iga and Koga to eradicate the ninja clans. Many shinobi went into hiding to preserve their culture, and legends suggest that Fujibayashi escaped and lived out his days as a farmer. This notion could be supported by Naue's use of the Kusarigara a weapon consisting of a sickle or scythe and a weighted chain. The Kusarigama was used to capture or restrain opponents, attack from unexpected angles, and block enemy swords. These attributes emphasize Naoi's assassin-like qualities, showcasing her stealth and tactical prowess. Now let's delve into our male protagonist Yasuke, a retainer and warrior to Oda Nobunaga, believed to have originated from Mozambique. Yasuke arrived in Japan as a servant to the Jesuit missionary Alessandro Valignano, who aimed to convert the local population. Several African servants reached 16th century Japan, particularly in northern Kyushu, where European merchants resided. Yasuke's arrival sparked significant interest among the Japanese, who had never encountered someone with his darker skin color. This curiosity led to Yasuke capturing the attention of Nobunaga, but what exactly in intrigued Nobunaga about Yasuke. Initially, the Japanese daimyo believed Yasuke had dyed his skin and requested him to strip down and scrub the black off him. Upon realizing Yasuke's skin was naturally dark, 
Nobunaga was intrigued by both his unique appearance and his height. He eventually provided Yasuke with his own house and a short sword, appointing him as a weapon bearer. In the game, Yasuke's combat abilities reflect his formidable presence, showcasing skills in parrying, using various stances, and wielding blunt weapons like the kanabo, a club used to bludgeon enemies. He's also taller than every villager. How did Yasuke's story really end? In 1582, Nobunaga was attacked by the forces of Akechi Mitsuhide and forced to commit seppuku, taking his own life with the blade through the chest. Yasuke tried to protect his lord, but after Nobunaga's death, he assisted Oda's heir at Nijo Castle. Subsequently, he was captured by Akechi's forces and turned away from further battles. The historical record concerning Yasuke ends here, leaving his ultimate fate uncertain. Whether he was exiled from Japan, killed, or went into hiding remains unknown. Examining these two characters, it seems Ubisoft intended to offer players a choice between a native Japanese character and a foreign visitor to Japan. Or alternatively, they just really want the n-word pass. In terms of gameplay, Ubisoft appears to be aiming to compete with Ghost of Tsushima, emphasizing dynamic and engaging combat. Naoi's movements are more fluid and agile, while Yasuke's combat style is powerful, breaking objects as he fights enemies. With a better understanding of the characters, another question arises. How do these characters tie into the Assassin's Creed narrative? It seems likely that Naoi, her father, and their clan are the assassins. This is suggested by Naoi's use of a hidden blade. Nobunaga, on the other hand, might represent the Templars, with Yasuke working within his quarters to aid Naoi in bringing them down. This could explain the conflicts with other samurai in the game. And historically, not all samurai were honorable. Some would even kill civilians indiscriminately to test their weapons. Ana did not only die in Komoda Beach. The dynamic between Naoi and Yasuke presents them as supposed enemies working together for a common cause. UB Forward has hinted that both characters have different worldviews, yet they both serve the light However, their clothing choices does raise some questions. Naoi's cloak is effective for nighttime operations, but would stand out during the day, as shinobi typically wore civilian clothes to blend in. As for Yasuke, he wears ceremonial samurai armor, emblazoned with Oda's crest, when massacring people or samurai in other territories within the game. We are the shadows. Your golden brother. Typically, if this was historically accurate, accurate, his actions would signify a declaration of war, something that contradicts his beliefs. Yet he can also be seen sneaking behind enemy lines unnoticed, which was very surprising considering the weight of his armor. However, for fans of recent Assassin's Creed games, Yasuke's combat style might be particularly appealing. Meanwhile, those who prefer the classic stealth-based gameplay of the series might enjoy playing as Naoi. This duality offers a rich and very varied experience catering to different play styles within the Assassin's Creed universe. So is Assassin's Creed Shadows historically accurate? Not really. Does it matter? Probably not, because no matter what's on record, there will always be two types of people in the world. One, people who make history, and two, people who rewrite history. But was this interesting to learn about? Perhaps. For me. In my opinion, the most important aspects are the gameplay, immersion, and story. Despite some gripes I have like the facial expressions of the characters, the game boasts a beautiful and expansive map with noticeable improvements in both combat and stealth mechanics. My only hope is that the map doesn't feel as empty as it did in Valhalla. After all, why see red when we can all see yellow together? And if there are any individuals who don't want to choose between the woman or the foreigner, we always have Ghost of Tsushima. What is your opinion on Assassin's Creed Shadows? Is this game up your alley? If so, who would you play as? Naoi's character definitely sparked my interest as someone who likes playing these games stealthily. Comment your thoughts below. I always enjoy reading your thoughts about different games. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay updated on your favorite games, including Assassin's Creed. Come here. Gives us a hug.
<laughs> and if you would like to have more discussions with peeps in the community, join my Discord. Thank you for watching, and that's all.